I'm a private jeweler. Well, my uncle and grandfather are goldsmiths in Turkey, so I've grown up with jewelry my whole life. I make it easy for people. They don't have to go to a jewelry store. I go to them. I help them design their one-of-a-kind piece, um, either by showing them pieces that I've already created or, or taking things that you know they're thinking about and reworking them. I'm actually a CPA and I retired probably about three years ago. I started doing charity work and the charities were really hurting and a lot of the jewelers weren't donating anymore. So I designed a piece for one of them and the women love my piece and hence my business launched. Uh, these are live auction items, pretty nice pieces that we donate, my husband and I, to different charities that are near and dear to our hearts. And it was, it's our way to not only help my passion with jewelry, but also to help the community help them raise some money as well. Part of the reason I did this is, number one, I love to dance, but number two, it's for the Kidney Foundation, and Juvenile Diabetes is one of my primary charities, and one of the functions, um, one of your organs that you suffer with, with diabetes, is your kidneys. So I thought there was a great tie-in with uh, diabetes and the Kidney Foundation. I um, really enjoy dance. I do Harry Carroll's Scottsdale Dancers, and, and I love her classes, absolutely love her classes. And um, when my friend Vicki Vaughn came to me, who actually co-chaired this with Chrissy Donnelly last year, and I went and talked to Harriet, she thought I would be perfect for it. And so she said, actually, in addition to my instructor A, Harriet's been training me with additional sculpt classes, and I go to her classes twice a week in addition to her sculpt classes twice a week. I'm halfway through my routine right now. I've had uh, 15 lessons with Ye, and um, uh, so I'm doing about eight hours a week of practice eight hours a week. Eight hours a week. Oh, Ye wants to win and he keeps asking me, when are we going to do three or four times a week? <laughs> I'm, I'm putting off my ski trip till March. I've already given up tennis because I hurt my, myself playing tennis last year. Tennis on the, is on the back burner. Skiing's on the back burner. Pretty much my life right now is on the back burner till February 25th. I'm not having fun yet because I'm working so hard. I'm a Capricorn. I'm type A. Everything has to kind of be done well. When you're in a group of ladies with 50 ladies, it's, it's a little easier to fudge on your choreography. Here I'm standing by myself with a professional and there's no fudging. And I'm going to be standing in front of 500 people and there's no fudging. Uh, falling, um, missing a step. <laughs> I have a glass of wine, but um, I'm not sure if that would be the best thing I should be doing. <laughs> Hi, Beth. I don't know, I saw her doing splits, and I was like, oh my gosh, she can do a split. I could never do a split, so I'm really worried about that. <laughs> Um, in my routine, I've, I have one unique step, which is, uh, since I'm Turkish, I know how to, how to belly dance, and I'm going to incorporate belly dancing into my routine, which will be something that probably not every dancer will be able to do. I have watched the show. I love the show. We are not reality television, that's for sure. <laughs> so we don't have the drama that reality TV has. Knowing that I'm a part of this and how dedicated I've been, that would be um, part of the reason to help vote for me. And, and I think anybody that knows me knows how dedicated I am to diabetes and the fact that the Kidney Foundation, uh, it's one of its primary organs, would be probably a substantial reason to help support me in this cause as well. I think at the end of the day, um, it's just, it's fun and raising money for the charity. And I think it's a once a lifetime experience. There's no other charity event you can say you're doing that for. I mean, it, there's one thing to be said to raise money where you go in and you ask for sponsorships, but to be this engaged for uh, four months of your life, um, eight hours a week, 
and, and have to walk in there and perform and help raise money for the charity is a whole different deal. I appreciate the Kidney Foundation having me be a part of this. And, you know, I know it's uh, an honor to be representing the community. So I just want to say thank you to them for letting me have this opportunity in my life and making, a, making an experience I'll never forget.